I'm a child of God. A child of God. Let's all lift up, lift up your hands towards Jesus and sing together. Let us tell the Lord, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Once again at the top of your voice, I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I'm no longer slave to fear For I am a child of God Let's Lord lift up your hands and sing together I'm no longer slave to fear Abba Father, I pray for these people of God who are joining us for in this, participating in this evening session those who are joining, participating in this adoration and worship no and from around the world. Let everyone be anointed. Let everyone be. believe that they are no more slave. They are child of God. For they are children of God. As we sing together at the top of a voice. I'm no longer slave to fear. I'm a child of God. I'm no longer slave to fear. Oh, Jesus. For I am a child of God, oh, I'm no longer slave to fear. The Lord is blessing you, healing you right now. For I am a child of God. Everybody sing together. You split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fees are proud in perfect love. Purifying us, you, you rescued me, and I will cleanse us. We thank you for this day. I we thank you for this moment. We thank you for every pain that we are God. going through, oh, every struggle that we face, every problem you that we face, everything that we are going through. You are washing right us. You are fresh. You are washing us. You are purifying us. You are refining us with the precious love. blood of Jesus in the fire of the Lord. We thank you, Lord. You we praise you, Lord. Our Father, we give you glory. All glory, you, all glory for you, Father. All glory for you, Jesus. All glory for you, Holy Spirit. We thank you. Everybody sing together. I'm no longer a slave to fear. For I am a child. I'm a child of God. Oh, I'm no longer.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you glory, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. We worship you, Father. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You died for me. My dear brothers and sisters, you are most welcome to this evening session, the Holy Rosary, Holy Adoration and the Holy Eucharistic Celebration. As we celebrate, as we have this adoration and worship together, my dear brothers and sisters, in a special way, let us pray. The Lord is going to anoint and set free and heal every child of God during this Holy Rosary and Adoration. Therefore, wherever you are, believe. Jesus says, wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in their midst and you, the Lord is here in our midst believe you will see the glory and now let's take the Holy Rosary in our hand let us recite the Holy Rosary asking the intercession of Our Lady so that the whole world may be converted be blessed consecrated through the intercession of Our Lady let us all take the Holy Rosary and recite this Holy Rosary I believe in God the Father, the Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of, of heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord, our Lord was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Jesus. Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From, From there, there he shall come, come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. For faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are your more women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are your mouth, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are your mouth, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony of our Lord Jesus in the garden. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ was so afflicted for us in the garden of Gethsemane that his body was bathed in a sweat of blood. My dear brothers and sisters, in this mystery as we celebrate, as we recite this holy rosary, let us ask the bless, special blessing from the Lord. And in a special way, let us pray for all those who are going through temptations, struggles, persecutions, and painful experience of their life. In these moments of life, let them be able to go to the Garden of Gethsemane for prayer. With this intention, let us pray for everyone who is going through a tough time in their personal life. Persecutions, pain, loneliness, family problem, personal problem, marital problem, relationship problem. Let us pray for all of them as we recited this Holy Rosary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. Do, Do not, not let us fall into, into temptation, but, but deliver us from, from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in his, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. My dear brothers and sisters, let us stretch out your hands towards the Blessed Sacrament. Our Lord Jesus, who died for us, is here now, in the form of bread. He loves you all. He loves you with all your weaknesses. The only thing that hurts him is our sin. He knows that we never want to commit sin purposely. Therefore, he is looking at our hard work. How much we work hard to come out of the sin. That is what is going to make him happy. Let us promise to God that we work hard to come out of sins. Let us promise to Jesus that we will never hurt him through our way of life through our sinful attitude and sins, words, actions. The Lord is cleansing everybody right now. Somebody who has got severe knee pain, the Lord is healing you. Somebody, as you are reciting the Holy Rosary, your joint pain, shoulder pain, the Lord is healing you right now. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to welcome Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Lord, here. We welcome you, the third person in the Holy Trinity. Come and take control of us. Come and fill our body now. We need your Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Everybody stretch out your hands towards the blessed sacrament and pray and sing. Fill us with your power. Miranda, the Lord is blessing you.
worship you. We give you glory, glory, Father, for every sinner, every bondage, every everyone is in sin. We praise you, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. power in the name of Jesus when you repeat the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Everybody repeat the name of Jesus. In my name you will cast out demons. In Jesus, my name whatever you ask everything will be given to you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Monica, the Lord is blessing you. Alpin, the Lord is blessing you. Rohit, Lord is blessing you right now. Manu, Lord is blessing you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Raymond, Lord is blessing you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Teresa, Lord is blessing you right now. Strengthening you right now. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. blessing you. Somebody who has got severe backbone pain, the Lord is healing you right now. Somebody who cannot sit down properly because of the backbone pain, the Lord is healing you right now. Somebody who has got swelling and infection on your tailbone, the Lord is healing you right now. Somebody who is preparing for a long journey but you are so afraid, the Lord is setting you free. The fear is taken away from your heart. A pregnant lady who is suffected with COVID-19, you are so scared. The Lord is healing you, set, setting you free, protecting you right now. Someone who has got severe headache, the Lord is healing you right now. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take this Holy Rosary, the second mystery, the scourging of Jesus at the pillar. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, being delivered up by Pilate to the fury of the soldiers, was tied to a pillar and most cruelly scourged. In this mystery, let us pray for all the shopkeepers, liquor bars, gambling centers, drug dealers, abortion centers, all those who are involved in criminal activities, the prisoners, those innocent prisoners, juvenile homes, and all those places, let us surrender and pray for, so that they all may be blessed in a special way through the intercession of Our Lady. Let every parent who is crying because of their children who have fallen, fallen into these kinds of activities, let us pray for them. Let their tears be not be wasted. wasted. Let these ch children, let all of them be set free through the intercession of our lady let us pray for this intention our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us do not, not let us fall into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil amen. amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. All the angels, pray for us. All the saints, pray for us. The third sorrowful mystery: Jesus is crowned with thorns. Right now, as you are praying and worshipping God, somebody who is having problem with your eyesight and some white things are covering your eyes and you're always uh, touching your eyes because of this uh, problem, the Lord is healing you right now. Let us recite the third decade of the Holy Rosary. Jesus is crowned with thorns. Let us contemplate in this mystery how the soldiers played a crown of sharp thorns and most cruelly pressed it on the sacred head of our Lord Jesus Christ. In this mystery, let us pray for all those who are suffering from all kinds of contagious diseases, COVID-19, AIDS patients, dengue fever, and many other sicknesses that are affecting different people. Those who are suffering from cancer, those who are suffering from malaria and many other sicknesses. There are so many others who are affected by various kinds of diseases but they are struggling to they are finding it difficult to go to hospitals and get treated because of this COVID-19 situations especially in the third world countries so many people are having problem because of their various sicknesses but they have to keep quiet and treat at home because of this COVID-19 situation let us pray for them especially those who are suffering from asthma and breathing difficulties and those who also those who are pregnant but they are so afraid that they may not uh, they should not get the covid-19 because it is dangerous for them so let us pray for all those who are going through this trauma the fear so that through the intercession of our lady they all may be protected let us pray together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without an army. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven. Especially those who are most in need of your mercy, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Augustine of England. My dear brothers and sisters, let us open our hands in front of God. Abba Father, we thank you for this day. There were many people who could not see this day. They were not been alive for this day. You have given us one more day. You have protected us from many dangers all these years. You have healed our sicknesses. You blessed us whenever we were, we were in need of. You proved your presence through many experiences of our life, but still we doubted you. We were not so completely 100% convinced to trust you, but still you trusted us. You always protected us. You always loved us. You always came to us. Abba Father, we know our weaknesses. Abba Father, you sent your only son to love us and express your love for us. We are sorry for testing you, Father. We are sorry for doubting you, Father. We are sorry for not surrendering our life completely unto you, Lord Father. Abba, if there is any idols in our mind, if there is any attachments that are blocking you from entering inside of us, please remove every block and every burden, every idols that are in, the, in our heart. Abba Father, we surrender our whole life unto you. You loved us so much that you gave your only son to be crucified on Mount Calvary and shed blood for us. And you have made yourself available for us so that we can eat the body and blood of our Lord and we become Jesus, become like Jesus and be part of his body. Lord, you loved us so much. Abba, right now we pray, send your Holy Spirit. Send your Holy Spirit upon us right now so that in the moments of struggle, moments of loneliness, moments of pain and temptation, we will not be alone. We will be supported by your advocate, the helper whom you have promised. We believe that his presence is there in us, in our body. Let it be rekindled. Our bodies be rekindled by the fire of the Holy Spirit. We pray for this right now. Abba. He is the Lord and he reigns on earth.
The Lord is anointing everyone right now. He's blessing everybody right now. Somebody who is always losing your job and your so many jobs you already lost, it doesn't last. The Lord is protecting you, the Lord is delivering you, and the next job you are going to stay for long. And the Lord is blessing you with a very good job. And the Lord is blessing so many. Let's repeat this word of God, everybody. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 6. 
Zechariah chapter 10 verse 6 we read and repeat this word of God everybody repeat after me I will strengthen the house of Judah I will strengthen the house of Judah remember your family remember your house remember your family members and repeat this word of God I will strengthen the house of Judah I will strengthen the house of Judah I will save the house of Joseph I will save the house of Joseph I will bring them back I will bring them back because, because I have compassion on them. I have, I have compassion, compassion on them. And they shall be and they shall be as though, as though I had not rejected them. I had not rejected them. For I am the Lord their God. For I am the Lord their God. And I will answer them. And I will answer them. My dear brothers and sisters, this very powerful word. Everybody, let us all repeat it three times, remembering your family members. If anyone who is going through a tough time in your family, there is no answer from the Lord and you feel no protection, no compassion from heaven. God is not listening to your prayers. Your feelings are rejected and lonely and you feel your family is always at danger and so many enemies against you. Everyone in the family is falling into temptations and bad habits and wrong relationships. Right now, the Lord is asking you to repeat this word of God every day. Everybody repeat after me. I will strengthen the house of Judah. I will strengthen the house of Judah. And I will save the house of Joseph. And I will save the house of Joseph. I will bring them back. I will bring them back. Because I have compassion on them. I have compassion on them. And they shall be. And they shall be. As though as though I had not rejected them. I had not rejected them. For I am the Lord their God. For I am the Lord their God. And I will answer them. And I will answer them. Once again, I will strengthen the house of Judah. I will strengthen the house of Judah. And I will save the house of Joseph. And I will save the house of Joseph. I will bring them back. I will bring them back. Because because I have compassion on them. I have compassion on them. And they shall be and they shall be as though as though I had not rejected them. I had not rejected them. For I am the Lord their God. For I am the Lord their God. I will answer them. I will answer them. Let's all close our eyes and pray. There is anointing. There is presence of God. Somebody who is struggling to forgive someone who was working with you many years ago, many years ago, someone was working with you and has hurt you and you are struggling to forgive. You can't forgive. The Lord is asking you, if you really want protection for you and your family, you have to forgive. Start praying for that person. You will be able to get a chance to forgive that person who have hurt you long back. Somebody who, has, who is having a problem with your head, some severe pain. You have gone to many hospitals, doctors, medicines, but you are not healed. The Lord is heal, healing you right now. Somebody who is praying for your life partner every day with tears, kneeling down, you are praying for your life partner. Because of the addictions, Lord has heard your prayer. Lord has seen your tears. The Lord is blessing your life partner. Somebody who was into prayer, used to spend a lot of time in prayer, used to do the ministry of the Lord, but slowly something happened and you lost, and you lost faith in the prayer. Now you start a wrong relationship and wrong things in your life. But now you want to come out of these sinful habits, but you are not able to come out of it. Right now, the Lord is touching you. The Lord is giving you a special grace to come out of the sinful bondage. You will not be able to do the sin, sin again. The Lord is blessing you. Someone who has got severe body pain, the Lord is healing you right now. Someone who spoke to your mother very painfully with hurting words, you spoke to your mother. But normally mother used to back answer you. But this time when you spoke to your mother very badly, your mother was so hurt and she became silent. The Lord says, you have to repent and ask forgiveness from your mother sincerely from your heart. Otherwise it would be harmful to you. Somebody who is falling into addictions of alcohol, and there is always problem in your family. And you also have some wrong notions about your wife in your mind. The Lord says, 
you have wrong dreams about your family your wife expectation wrong expectations you have to stop your bad, bad habit of fa- uh, addictions of alcohol if not you will lose this family the lord is telling you warning you the lord is healing someone who has got severe headache severe headache the lord is healing you right now let us all repeat this word of god jeremiah 32 verse 39 to 41 let us repeat loudly i will give them i will give them one heart one heart and one way and one way that they may fear me that they may fear me for all time for all time for their own good for their own good and good of their children and the good of their children after them after them see the word of god 39 says i will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me for all time for their own good and the good of their children after them was 40 everybody repeat after me i will make an everlasting covenant with them i will, I will make, make an everlasting covenant, covenant with them never to draw back from doing good never, never to, to draw, draw back from, from doing good never to draw back from doing good to them never, never to, to draw, draw back from, from doing good to them i will put the fear of me in their hearts i will, I will put, put the, the fear, fear of me in their hearts so that so that they may not turn from me they may not turn from me so that so that they may not turn from me they may not turn from me was 40 41 i will rejoice i will rejoice in doing good in doing good to them to them i will rejoice i will rejoice in doing good to them in doing good to them and i will plan to them and i will plan them in this land in this land in faithfulness in faithfulness with all my heart with all my heart and all my soul and all my soul my dear brothers and sisters let us recite the holy rosary was 14 for, for, for the fourth mystery of the holy rosary jesus carries the cross let us contemplate in this mystery how our lord jesus christ being sentenced to death bore with the most amazing patience the cross which was laid upon him for his great torment and ignominy in this mystery let us pray for the holy catholic church for francis all the cardinals all the bishops all the priests all the parish priests all the religious people all the religious nuns and religious priests and all the churches cathedrals and all the monasteries and all the religious houses retreat centers and all the orphanages and all those charitable institutions let us pray for all of them so that they all may be protected let's all focus on the eucharist stretch out your hands toward jesus and pray together this midst decade of the holy rosary our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us, us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation, temptation. But, but deliver us from, from evil. evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary, holy mary mother, mother of god pray, pray for us sinners now, now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy, holy mary mother, mother of god pray, pray for us sinners Now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother, mother of god pray for, for us sinners now, now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother, mother of god pray for us sinners Now, now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother, mother of god pray for us sinners now, now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother, mother of god pray for us sinners 
Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners. Now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. My dear brothers and sisters. In front of the Blessed Sacrament, we do recite the Holy Rosary and worship and praise God. Maybe some of you must be thinking, why do we say the recite Rosary in front of the Blessed Sacrament exposed? Is it not a prayer addressed to Mother Mary and why are we saying this prayer in front of the Blessed Sacrament? My dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Rosary is full of the salvific mystery of our Lord Jesus. We are meditating on the various aspects and incidents of our Lord Jesus. Not only that, when Jesus came to this world, when as a baby, the people, when they came and worshipped Jesus, the kings, the Magi who came to worship Jesus, they saw the child and the mother together. They bowed down in front of Jesus. When they were bowing down in front of Jesus, it was the child and the mother together. And every occasion of our Lord Jesus' life, we can see Mother Mary's presence in the most important times of his life. The first miracle of Jesus at wedding at Cana, it was Mother Mary who interceded for that family. And especially when Jesus was dying on Mount Calvary, the biggest act of salvation, Mother Mary was standing under the cross. The most powerful experience among the disciples was the Pentecost. Mother Mary was present. Now Jesus is in heaven. Mother Mary is standing, sitting next to the right side of Jesus. Jesus is sitting at the right side of the Heavenly Father. And Mother Mary is sitting at the right side of Jesus. Like Queen Mother. And she is the Queen of Heaven and Earth. And the same way, whenever we have Pentecost experience on this earth, Mother Mary's presence is very much felt. When the Annunciation took place, the Holy Spirit came and overshadowed Mother Mary. We remember the Mother Mary and the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. When Mother Mary greeted Elizabeth, the Holy Spirit came and overshadowed Elizabeth and the child in the womb leaped for joy and when mother mary was with the disciples at the pentecost they all received the presence of the holy spirit right now we are in, here in front of the blessed sacrament reciting the holy rosary along with mother mary worshiping her only son our lord jesus christ the son of the almighty god the living god and therefore there is presence of mother mary here there is presence of the Holy Spirit here. There is presence of the Heavenly Father here. With this attitude, we celebrate, we recite this Holy Rosary. That is why mighty miracles and wonders are taking place as we worship together. Let us recite the fifth decade of the Holy Rosary. In this fifth decade of the Holy Rosary, we are meditating on the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus. Let us contemplate this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ was stripped of his clothes and how his hands and feet were most cruelly nailed to the cross on which he died in the presence of his most afflicted mother. In this mystery, let us pray for all the world leaders, all the leaders who are conspiring against the humanity, all those who are behind every kind of tragedies and pandemic in this world, all the country leaders who are amassing the weapons of mass destructions with the aim to attack other, other countries 
and and divide the humanity and all those are spreading hatred in the name of religion spread hatred in the name of color race let us forgive and let us ask forgiveness on behalf of all of them in front of god and ask god to forgive them and bless them and convert them with this intention let us recite the fifth decade of this holy rosary our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us, us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us do, do not, not let us fall into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Thomas, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. Let us repeat Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26. Let us repeat this word of God. A new heart I will give you. A new heart I will give you. And a new spirit I will put within you. And a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body. And I will remove from your body. The heart of stone. The heart of stone. And give you a heart of flesh. And give you a heart of flesh. My dear brothers and sisters, all those who are struggling to convert yourself, those who want to come out of sinful habits, those who are struggling to believe in God, those who want to increase your love for God, you want to spiritually grow but something is blocking you, and those who want to lead a holy life but you are struggling to be holy, repeat this word of God every day. Once again, let us repeat. A new heart I will give you. A new heart I will give you. And a new spirit I will put within you. And a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body. And I will remove from your body. The heart of stone. The heart of stone. And give you a heart of flesh. And give you a heart of flesh. A new heart I will give you. A new heart I will give you. And a new spirit I will put within you. And a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body. And I will remove from your body. The heart of stone. The heart of stone. And give you a heart of flesh and give you a heart of flesh let us repeat psalm 91 verse 14 and 15 psalm 91 verse 14 and 15 
those who love me those who love me i will deliver i will deliver i will protect those who know my name i will protect those who know my name when they call to me when they call to me i will answer them i will answer them i will be with them in trouble i will be with them in trouble i will rescue them i will rescue them and honor them and honor them all those who are praying for deliverance those who are into big problems trapped with many problems families are trapped because your life partner is in having a wrong relationship you want the protection for your whole family your children are going into wrong things you want to protect the whole family this is the word of god the lord wants you to repeat everybody repeat once again those who love me those, those who, who love me, me i will deliver i will deliver i will protect those who know my name i will protect those who know my name when they call to me when they call to me i will answer them i will answer them i will be with them i will be with them in trouble in trouble i will rescue them i will rescue them and honor them and honor them those who love me those who love me i will deliver i will deliver i will protect those who know my name i will protect those who know my name when they call to me when they call to me i will answer them i will answer them i will be with them i will be with them in trouble in trouble i will rescue them i will rescue them and honor them and honor them let's all stretch out your hands towards the blessed sacrament the lord is blessing everyone right now He is here right now. Let's all stretch out your hands for the blessed sacrament. Somebody who was bitten by a snake, who you are in danger, but God has saved your life. The Lord says, increase your prayer life now. Focus on your spirituality more now. God has given you one more life. Somebody who has sold a property in a very, very cheap rate, you are so feeling so depressed about it. The Lord says, I permitted it to happen so that you may be protected for something good is going to happen don't worry about what happened focus on your future the lord has prepared something better for you a family member a parent who has sold the property without the permission information to your children without telling your children and it is affecting the family relationship the lord is asking that parent to repent and ask forgiveness come on and come down from your pride the lord is telling you the lord says there are many people who are very rich but never helped poor people never did alms giving enough the lord is waiting for you to start alms giving if not problems will start continuing and can affecting your whole family if you really want to have peace in your family start arms giving the lord says the lord is healing someone who has got severe pain on your legs and hands the lord is healing you somebody who has got ulcers in the mouth the lord is healing you someone who has got pain in the right, left side of your rib the lord is healing you right now someone who is having lightning type of ex painful experience in your head the lord is healing you somebody who is waiting for an operation in your kidney the lord is healing you the lord is blessing you right now and someone who is waiting to get a kidney because you're waiting for a tra kidney transplantation the lord is blessing you in a special way someone who doesn't get to sleep well and you are struggling to get sleep even after taking medicines you are not able to sleep well the lord says i am healing you right now you will be able to sleep without any medication the lord is blessing you right now somebody who is filing a case against you with full of lies the lord says i will fight for you i will fight for you this case the lord says somebody who justifying saying that i will i drink only once in a while i do, should i stop this alcohol which i drink once in a while the lord says your family's prosperities are blocked because of these habits of yours if you really love me why don't you sacrifice this desire of your alcohol the lord is asking you you have to make your choice clear somebody who is having infection in your throat 
the lord is healing you the lord is blessing you right now somebody you who, who you have an enemy but this enemy recently asked forgiveness from you trying to make friendship with you start accepting that person and praying for that person forgiving that person so that you will be blessed somebody who is to do the ministry of the lord very powerfully very strongly with lots of conviction but these days you have given up you have stopped your ministry the lord says i was permitting a testing period in you are you getting failed in this test the lord is asking you right now everybody stretch out your hands towards the blessed sacrament the lord is healing someone who has got hearing problem and ear pain the lord is healing you right now and somebody who is having problem in speech and you are going through a speech therapy the lord is blessing you right now someone who is having some lumps in the body some lump, small lumps in the body the lord is healing you right now the lord is delivering you right now somebody who is face color is changing some kind of skin disease your face color is getting changed and you are so worried you are crying you are doubting god the lord says trust me i have power to heal you pray sincerely and come out of your sinful habits bad wrong relationship and every evil things i'm healing you right now the lord is blessing you right now everybody stretch out your hands towards the blessed sacrament oh lord pour out your spirit upon everyone let everyone experience the holy spirit we need the holy spirit we cry for the holy spirit we need you holy spirit we need your power pour out your spirit upon every child every family every one who is crying in front of you pour out your spirit lord let's sing together asking the lord to pour out his spirit upon everyone you will never be disappointed he is pouring out his spirit upon you you are experiencing the power of the holy spirit now in your body pour out your spirit pour out your spirit pour out your spirit Temple. Oh, in the world, Lord. Spirit. 
child of God be set free now in Jesus name if anyone who is suffering from any kind of problem bondage right now in Jesus name I command these evil powers to get out of these people right now and go to the foot of Jesus and be bonded forever in Jesus name pour out to see pour out to see pour out to see the love of God is covering everybody you can experience the touch of Jesus in your body you can experience the power of God somebody who has got severe toothache you have severe toothache and headache the Lord is healing you right now embracing you right now the Lord is hugging you now you can feel the power you can feel the anointing in your body you are not alone God's heaven God God the Heavenly Father he is covering you with his power his anointing is love is touching everybody you can feel the embrace of our Lord Jesus now he is embracing everybody you can feel the power the Lord is giving you the gift of tears with repentance now 
those who feel like crying in front of Jesus let them cry louder he is consoling you he is making he is anointing you he is washing you he is wiping away every tear from your eyes right now He's removing every burden, every sorrow from your heart. You can feel the deliverance. We can feel the anointing. repeat this word of God Isaiah chapter 66 verse 13 Isaiah 66 verse 13 we read like this as a mother comforts a child as a mother comforts her so child. I will comfort you so I will comfort you you shall be comforted in Jerusalem you shall be comforted in Jerusalem as a mother comforts her child as a mother comforts her child so I will comfort you so I will comfort you you shall be comforted in Jerusalem you shall be comforted in Jerusalem as a mother comforts a child as a mother comforts a child so I will comfort you so I will comfort you you shall be comforted in in Jerusalem you shall be comforted in Jerusalem as a mother comforts a child as a mother comforts a child so I will comfort you so I will comfort you you shall be comforted in Jerusalem you shall be comforted in Jerusalem my dear brothers and sisters let it, let us focus on the Eucharist right now speak to him as a mother comforts you the Lord is comforting you Look at the blessed sacrament and go and speak to him. The Lord has blessed to so many people during this live streaming for the last so many days and months. And the Lord is blessing you right now. He's wiping away the tears from your eyes. He has wiped the tears of thousands. And now he's wiping away the tears from your eyes. He's consoling you. He's delivering you right now. Let us look at the blessed sacrament. He's looking at you. He's looking at you right now. As you go on listening to some testimonies of the blessings the Lord has given you, given to the people in these last so many weeks, you can speak to Jesus every intention you have before we receive the final blessing of the blessed sacrament. This is a testimony from Gio Cardosa. It was announced last week that someone was healed from their mouth ulcers. I claimed it for my daughter Rachel. Her condition was worse before, but now she is healed completely. There is another testimony I'm Miriam from Ghana. I have been praying to be healed from numbness in my arms. L during the adoration, it was mentioned healing for someone with a nervous problem. I claimed it and I got healed it. And completely, the, all the numbness is gone, completely healed. Praise the Lord. I am Prudence Rodriguez. During the adoration, I had a fall in the morning and I banged my head on the floor and I had a lump on the head and I was in pain and I was worried if I had an injury. But during the adoration, it was announced that someone had a fall and is worried about an injury. But the Lord said there is no injury and I claimed it and now I'm healed completely. My name is Tina, another testimony. My name is Tina and I listened to the adoration in a healing retreat. During the adoration, I was praying to Jesus to call my name. And exactly at that time, it was announced my name. 
I had prayed for passing my driving test and I passed it and I prayed for accommodation and I got the news that the accommodation I was waiting for and I got it it was announced during the adoration a lady who is seeing a black dot in the eye and I claimed that healing for my mother who has lost her vision in the right eye from a retinal detachment and the Lord has blessed and healed another testimony from Martha D. Zuzza Frankfurt Germany I would like to testify my healing during the adoration I entered into this special hour with a very terrible headache as I came directly from my dentist appointment dealing with root canal treatment and this headache was a very peculiar type quickly after joining I prayed with full faith looking deep and solely into the merciful eyes of our Lord believing me believe me as I was focused on him I was getting delivered of the pain I could literally feel it moving out of my body and I felt fresh light and better again thank you Lord Jesus for your loving care and I was healed completely praise the Lord my, another testimony my name is Jesse I would like to share some testimonies which happened within my family my mommy every day watches the live streaming during the adoration on 29th it was said somebody is having a severe pain in the ribs on the left side and Jesus is healing you my mommy, mommy claimed this blessing for her and she was healed instantly and during the adoration again another that the time fathers it was said somebody cannot move fingers on the right hand there is stiffness like arthritis and instantly I claimed it for me and I was healed instantly I am also instantly healed from hip joint pain and swelling of my legs and knee problems my son was instantly healed from his stammering problem he had difficulty in talking during the adoration it was announced somebody having the stammering problem healed and I claimed it and my son was instantly healed both my brothers were also instantly healed from their chest pain during the adoration and I claimed the healing and they have healed my husband was also instantly healed from the, his severe cold and cough problem and is able to sleep peacefully from that day after the adoration the Lord has blessed this is a testimony from Syrah Fernandez there is another testimony from loose masker and us I would like to thank God for the mighty miracle in my life I attend the divinity center prayer online my sister service uh, with my sisters and every time it was announced that God is healing someone who have lumps in the body I would claim the healing for me few days before I realized that the lump under my armpit and also in my breast is totally disappeared and I'm healed in the name of Jesus I'm also being delivered from the spirit of depression and suicidal thoughts there is a lot of peace in my heart now I also had toothache and pus inside my gums which were also swollen swollen I am also being healed from the toothache and the pus is disappeared now the gums are back to normal my sister also could smell the fragrance of flowers during the adoration and at, at, at that same time it was announced that somebody is experiencing fragrance my father is also being healed from the ear pain through this prayer service and preaching and the Lord bless us all family with mighty miracles many other miracles let's my dear brothers and sisters right now let us receive the blessing of the blessed sacrament the Lord has blessed us Lord and the Lord has healed many of us from many problems and sicknesses as I've already told you if anybody would like to get the newsletter you can scan this barcode and send it to us so that all the written format of the talks will be available for you in your email and remember end of this month we have three days of family renewal retreat the whole family together attend these three days of online retreat thousands of families are going to join in this three days of family renewal retreat from 24th to 26th of July from 6 p.m. 
UK time till 10 p.m. UK time and you will be blessed. Your whole family will be united and family will be set free from bondages. And my dear brothers and sisters, next month we are also having the deliverance retreat for the whole the families because there are lots of people who are requesting for the deliverance prayers and deliverances in the family. Therefore, we are having going to have a deliverance retreat at the last week of August for which we need to pray and prepare with lots of fasting. The Lord has asked us to pray for fasting of 100,000 days of fasting. So there are so many families have already started. There are many people who are confused how to fast and what to fast. Don't worry. The Lord, He is flexible. So according to the canon law, the teaching of the church, fasting can be one solid meal in a day you can avoid. One meal avoiding one meal. If possible, if anybody who is so healthy and strong, strong, you can avoid the three meals, but drink a lot of water. But if anyone who is taking medications and sick, you should not skip any meal, but instead, you can skip some some varieties of food maybe skip some meat or maybe skip some which uh, some food which you like most maybe ice cream maybe some kind of curries which you like most you can skip it that is also considered as fasting so please you can select any time we will also give you a small talk on how the importance of fasting and how to fast and what happens when you fast in the coming days but meanwhile when you do fasting how count how many days you have done the fasting and in, you can inform us we will give you a link where you can press it and tell us how many fasting days you have done, how many done so how many days of fasting you have done and all this will be counted along with this hundred thousand fasting days so that we all will be prepared very well and we will we will work together we will pray together for the deliverance through the hundred thousands of days of fasting. Mighty blessings and deliverances are going to take place in every family who is going to participate in this deliverance retreat. We are praying together as one community from around the world, thousands of families, and you will see the miracles happening in your own families. Mighty deliverance are going to take place. Evil powers will be driven out from your families. And we will also pray for a special blessing on that day and special deliverance prayer. You will see the power of God in your families. In these days, therefore, you please pray for the Divinity Center. The more we do the service of the Lord, the more the evil one is so angry against this ministry. Therefore, we request all of your prayers. And the Lord is always protecting us. We are so grateful to God because you are praying for us. Yesterday, I have requested you to pray one holy rosary for the Divinity Center. Today, I would like to request once again one more holy rosary before you come and join tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock UK time for the three hours of adoration and worship and holy mass. Please recite one holy rosary for the intention of the Divinity Center. You will also get the share of thousands of holy rosaries which are going to be recited here. You will also get a share of it. Therefore, please offer one holy rosary for the intention of the Divinity Center and protection of all the priests and team members of the Divinity Center. You will be blessed. Right now, let's all kindly kneel down in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Stretch out your hands towards the Blessed Sacrament and pray. Let every knee shall bow, every tongue confess, He is Lord.
Brothers and sisters, we are going to start the Holy Eucharistic celebration celebrated by Father Anthony. Let us pray for Father Anthony in a special way as he is celebrating the Holy Mass for us and pray for each and every one of us who are participating in this Holy Mass. And uh, let us offer all the intentions, all the intentions you have offered already, all the names you, are given, you have given us, and everything is offered on this altar. And we pray for you. You please pray for us. Let us strengthen each other through our prayers as we sing together the entrance hymn. As for me, in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, we welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration, wherever you are. Your intentions are here on this altar. Maybe you are celebrating your wedding anniversary, your birthday, any celebration that you have. You can make it a special day as you offer yourself on this altar. We also put all of you who are just in front of the TV or your social media attending this Holy Mass. He can see you because there is no greater prayer than Eucharist. The heaven is touching the earth. That means the end of heaven is coming down to your home where you are. Put all your intentions, your struggles, your repeated sins, your sicknesses. Where else we go? Who else can help us? There is no one who can tolerate us. People get tired of us with no time. And here comes a God. He loves you the way you are. He's never tired of you. He's never angry with you. 
he never gets upset with you offer yourself unto him if possible kneel down wherever you are keep your hands open saint augustine says we are all beggars be our lord and let's beg him for his mercy Lord, have mercy. 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 God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen let us pray oh god who show the light of your truth to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path give all who for the faith they profess are counted christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen kindly be seated a reading from the prophet isaiah hear the word of the lord you rulers of sodom listen to the command of our god you people of gomorrah what are your endless sacrifices to me says the lord i am sick of holocausts of rams and the fat of calves the blood of bulls and of goats revolt me when you come to present yourself before me Who asked you to trample over my courts? Bring me your worthless offerings no more. The smoke of them fills me with disgust. New moons, sabbaths, assemblies, I will not endure festivals and solemnity. Your new moons and your pilgrimages, I hate with all my soul. They lie heavy on me. I am tired of bearing them. When you stretch out your hands, I turn my eyes away. You may multiply your prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are covered with blood. Wash, make yourselves clean. Take your wrong doing out of my sight. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Search for justice. help the oppressed be just to the orphan plead for the widow the word of the lord thanks be to god Oh 
Jesus began to reproach the towns in which most of his miracles had been worked because they refused to repent. Alas for you, Khorasin. Alas for you, Bethsaida. For if the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. And still I tell you that it will not go as hard on judgment day with Tyre and Sidon as with you. And as for you, Capernaum, did you want to be exalted as high as heaven? You shall be thrown down to hell. For if the miracles done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have been standing yet and still. I tell you, it will not go as hard with the land of Sodom on judgment day as with you. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Kindly be seated wherever you are. Sisters and brothers, while I was in the seminary, uh, in one of the retreats, a retreat preacher, he came and he was going through this scripture and he started to ask our names. He was a new preacher and putting our name in this Bible passage, he started to read this pa passage in a new interpretation. He said, alas for you, he asked the name, what is your name? And he said, I'm Joseph. Then father said, alas for you, Joseph. For if the miracles done in you was done in Lawrence, he would have been repented. Today as we are here listening to this word of God, is there anyone whom had, who never had an experience with God? We had and we have several instances of God's mighty intervention. Even if you ask your parents, as you are a child, they will tell you, you are a miracle baby. You are born miraculously. Even the doctor said, you can never conceive. Your tube is blocked. You, you don't have the, the capacity to give birth. But you are already been born. Sisters and brothers, if the miracles that the Lord performed in us, we need to remember it. That will lead us to repentance. The Lord is looking specifically for our repentance and the miracles that he already had performed is more than enough for repentance he's looking on our repentance and he's asking will he ever tell you that if these miracles that happened in our life happened in someone else's life it would have been better i do remember an incident when we had a retreat in one of the cities uh, our organizer, he was organizing the retreat. So we have evening conventions. That is Monday to Friday, we have evening conventions. That is 7.30 to 9 o'clock. And Saturday, Sunday, we have a retreat. So that's the way we conduct in this city. So this organizer, he is the one organizing, taking us to different places. 
So in one of the conventions, the Holy Spirit gave us an inspiration and we said a message that there is someone who is losing faith and you are thinking of leaving the faith because of the pressure from your company, from your people. Then we asked, who was thinking of leaving the faith? The Lord is speaking to this person. So we asked, who, who was thinking? Nobody lifted the hand. Again, we announced with an addition that you are thinking of leaving the faith because you have forgotten the mighty miracle the Lord has performed. You are childless and the Lord blessed you with the children and it is on that day you have decided to serve God. Who is this person? Even then nobody lifted the hand. Three times we announced, but nobody was there to admit or acknowledge this specific miracle happened in their life. Now sisters and brothers, after some time, as the retreat was finished and we were going back home, the organizer is the one taking us. And we are making thanksgiving prayers on the way back, saying, sweetheart of Jesus, and the response is, we thank you so much. So we pray 10 times, sweetheart of Jesus, we thank you so much. And the other said, sweetheart of Jesus, receive all the glory. All those prayers we are making on the way we are going. And after some time, this organizer is just crying. He's a little old man. He's crying. He's not praying with us. So we asked him, what's the problem? Then he said, I'm very sorry because I was the one who was thinking of leaving faith stopping organizing all these conventions because of the pressure from my workplace. They are all laughing at me. They are saying that, why are you taking these priests? What are you conducting all these retreats? So many things. Because that's the time he said, Father, I was childless. I got my first baby after I became 50 years of age. Me and my wife had serious problem. We checked all, we went to all the hospitals, we even went to Germany, we had special treatments, but nobody could help. The, the doctors recommended us to adopt children because we cannot have babies. But we attended a retreat in our Divine Retreat Center in Muringur, and there was a message given by the priest, we believed it. Exactly after one year, my wife conceived, now I have three kids. And it all happened after we became 50 years. I became 50 years. It was medically impossible. And he said, that day I have decided, I told the Lord, if you bless me with a child, I will witness this to everyone. And that day I have decided to organize retreats because I was hopeless. I was childless. I was so desperate. I tried everything. No human person could help. That's the time Jesus came in and he helped me. He blessed me with children. That's the, that is why I started organizing these retreats and programs. I want to prove to the world, I have to tell the people, don't lose hope, don't lose heart, because there's a God who works miracles. Sisters and brothers, we believe in Jesus means we believe in miracles. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27, we read. Jeremiah 30 to 27. Let's all claim this word of God to, together. See, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh is anything too hard for me. Let's repeat once again together. See, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh is anything too hard for me. You may be childless. Now, you know a, a lady who came from seashells to Nairobi. She was 49 years. She was never married. She had big fibroids, that is big lumps growing in her womb. And the doctors told that she has to do surgery even to remove the uterus. She came for retreat. She got healed. She went back to seashells. Later she got married. She got children. She came back to Nairobi to give a testimony. Sisters and brothers, I am the Lord God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? That's why he is a miracle worker. Sisters and brothers, he is a way maker. For him, nothing is impossible. Believe it. And this God has already performed a miracle. I do. I have heard this from Father George Panakel. A lady came to him and telling, Father, my daughter is not married. She is already 36 years. I don't know what to do, where to go. I'm, I'm praying and nothing is taking place. Then after the prayers, she, Father asked, What about you, your marriage? Then what about you? Do you remember anything God has done for you? Then she remembered and she said, Father, even my marriage was taken place 
after I was 36 years. Even my own family, my people said, I will never get married. Even if I get married, I will never get children. But the Lord helped me to get married, helped me to get children. And this is my first daughter. I was just concerned. Then father said, remember the mighty miracles the Lord has already performed for you. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 we read, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. My dear sisters and brothers, if the Lord can perform a miracle in your life in the past, yesterday, he's the same today, he's the same coming on this altar. Jesus who raised Lazarus is the same coming on this altar. Believe it, he is the same. Yesterday, today and forever. There are people who believe in science more than God. And we should know what is the difference between science and God. Science is never the same yesterday, today and forever. Science changes every now and then. We take this COVID-19, this virus, what the science was telling yesterday is not what the science is telling today. Initially, it was the first thing the, science, the scientists were telling, it will not be spread. It will not spread to humans. But see, later they changed, it will spread. Now they are telling it is the medicine is not yet found. You have to take extra cautious. Every time it is changing. Sisters and brothers, my dear young people, you have intelligence, you have big uh, brain. But remember, science changes. Science is not the same yesterday, today and forever. Science cannot know anything about your soul. A human person is not just body, not just mind, but also a human person has a soul that is invisible, that is eternal, that is immortal. So science cannot see this, can, science cannot prove it. We have a God. We have to believe in him. We have to remember what he has done for us in the past and our life will never be the same. Remember the mighty deeds of Lord. This is Psalm 78 from 4 we read. Psalm 78 from 4. The mighty deeds of the Lord. We will not hide them from their children. We will tell to the coming generation. The glorious deeds of the Lord. And his might. And the wonders that he has done. It's important to tell our children. About their history. About their origin. That maybe they were in the incubator. Maybe they were premature. Maybe the doctors said that. You cannot have a baby. And you have. Tell them the history. About God. How God protected you. How God blessed them. How God healed them. There are many instances of sicknesses. We had a retreat in St. Mary's Church in Dubai. We do remember when we ask these little kids, for the kids, that how many of you remember that God saved you from death? So many, hundreds of children raised their hands acknowledging what God has done for them. Because the parents told them the story. What happened when they were two years, four years, five years, when they were in the school, when they were, uh, were drowning in the water, when they were being, being met with accident, how did they, God save them? Sisters and brothers, Will God look at them, look at us and say, Anthony, woe to you. It's so pity for you because the miracles I have done in your life is gone in vain. Will the Lord look at your face and will ever regret saying that if the miracles I have performed for you and I have performed these miracles in someone else, they would have been far better. Let the Lord will, will should never say like that. Repent, sisters and brothers. Repent. This is what the Lord is telling us today. And what's repentance? Book of Sirach. This is chapter 17 from 25. Let's look onto the screen. Read this very important scripture. What is repentance? The Lord is teaching us today. Ten. Together let us claim it. Turn back, back to the to Lord, Lord and, and forsake, forsake your, your sins. sins. Pray, Pray in, in his, his presence, presence and lessen your offense. offense. What is repentance? Turning back to the Lord. Making a U-turn. And forsake your sins. Pray in his presence and lessen your offense. That is, what is sin? Sin is saying no to God and saying yes to the devil. So when you repent, you are saying yes to the Lord and saying no to Satan. This is what we say 
when we say about repentance once again together we claim turn back to the lord and forsake your sins pray in his presence and lessen your offense then verse 26 return to the most high and turn away from iniquity and hate intensely what he abhors what is repentance hating what god hates hating sin hating immorality injustice impurity do you love alcohol that is a sin you have to hate what god hates god hates sin hate sin hate intensely what he abhors decide today for this gift of hatred towards evil hatred towards sin then verse 27 together who will who sing, sing praises, praises to the to most, most high, high in haste in, in place of the living who give thanks yes. who will sing praises to the most high in haste in place of the living who give thanks sisters and brothers you cannot sing praises in hell you cannot praise and worship you cannot repent after your death you cannot confess after you became unconscious or you are already in the ventilator remember this you cannot repent after your death let it be today and we read verse 28 together from the from dead, dead as, as from, from one who, who does, does not exist, exist thanksgiving has ceased, ceased. Those who are alive and well sing the Lord's praises. Remember, this is such a golden, precious opportunity to praise the Lord. Now, it's such a great uh, privilege to worship because you don't want to know anything. You just join the divine team. You get fire. Maybe you are not interested. You don't know how to pray. You don't know how to sing. You don't know how to thank just switch on the tv just be there in this presence you'll also be touched because it's important sisters and brothers whether we accept it or not what is heaven heaven is all about praise and worship heaven is all about hallelujah heaven is all about thanksgiving heaven is all about lifting the name of the lord on high so we have to do it today and this is a sign of repentance sisters and brothers when we worship the lord the repentance will happen in our life and remember we cannot do it after our death then verse 29 we read how no, great is, is the mercy of the lord, lord and his forgiveness for those who return, return to, him. to him those who return to him his forgiveness is abundance remember the prodigal son he committed almost all the sins he broke all the ten commandments but what did he did what was his conversion he repented he just said sorry one small sorry was more than enough to restore back everything and he wants us to repent whatever sins you have committed nothing matters he is a forgiving god and if you return he will forgive then was 30 for not, not everything, everything is within human, human capability, capability since, since human, human beings, beings are not, not immortal for not everything is within human capability we need to praise the lord we need to worship the lord we need to repent we need to return because we are not immortal we are mortal human beings we need god we need his mercy we need his compassion no human being is immortal then we read verse 31 what, what is, is brighter, brighter than the, the sun, sun yet, yet it can, can be eclipsed, eclipsed. so, so flesh, flesh and blood devise evil. evil that means we are all sinners we all need repentance we all need to return to the lord we are all sinners even me i'm a sinner i need to repent even me as a priest i have to confess my sin then verse 32 he he marshals the host of the height of heaven but all human beings are dust and ashes let's remember who we are we are dust if somebody is asking there, there are people who say when they fight they say you don't know who i am if somebody is telling you don't know who i am you can immediately give them an answer i know who you are you are dust and ashes 
If anybody is boasting and telling, you don't know with to whom you are talking. You have to just say, I know to whom I am talking. I'm just talking to dust and ashes. Sisters and brothers, this is our true identity. All human beings are dust and ashes. When we forget it, we fall into sin. When we forget it, we fall into pride. We, when we forget it, we start fighting with our fellow human beings. Let's remember who we are. Then we will repent. And what is true repentance? 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 again talks about true repentance. This is, if my people who are called oh, by my name, name humble, humble themselves, themselves pray, seek my face, and, and turn, turn from, from their wicked, wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Repentance means to make ourselves humble, to pray unceasingly and seek the face of the Lord and turn from our wicked ways. That is repentance. I do remember an incident about a, a young man. He came for prayers. His mother was sick, admitted in the hospital, seriously sick. And he's telling the doctors are not able to find what's her sickness. And this is not the first time. Every now and then the mother gets sick and being taken to hospital. Because they have money, they can take the mother to the hospital and the best hospital. But this young man, he's telling. What we don't understand is that whatever income, whatever money we get through our business is being given to the hospital for medicine, for treatments. They're not getting an answer. So they need healing because doctors are not going to, are not able to help. They tried everything. They tried medicine. They tried different hospitals. They tried doctors. They tried best hospital. But every now and then the mother gets sick and whatever they get is being spent in the hospital. So this boy wanted a special kind of prayer, a deliverance prayer for healing for this sickness to stop forever. Because every now and then it's a problem. So when we started to pray, sisters and brothers, we asked him, we always tell you that the question that we ask to the Lord and the answer the Lord gives, most of the time it's different. But the answer of the Lord shows the root. So we asked him, what is their business? You know, they get a lot of money in the business, but the money is spent in the hospital. Then we came to know that they produce liquors and they sell liquors. Their business is that. Sisters and brothers, so whatever money they get through this unjust business, this is killing and destroying families. That's why they get a lot of money. The, the, the business that gives maximum money is liquor business. They got it. Now it's in the hospital. It comes out in the form of sickness. So we told this boy, stop this business. You know, his problem is they are very active in the church. We pray, but our prayers are not being answered. We pray for our mother and the prayer is not answered. We pray for the mother to be discharged from the hospital, but their prayer is not going through. That's why they are coming. They are asking for deliverance prayer and healing prayer together. And the inspiration was stop this sin and start praying. Stop doing liquor business, producing liquors and selling it. Then you pray and then your prayer is going to get through. Sisters and brothers, what is true repentance? If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin and heal their land. Today as you listen to me. The Lord was repeatedly telling them. By letting their mother fall sick. Getting admitted in the hospital. The Lord was telling. Your prayer cannot be answered. Until you stop this sin. Which is destroying many families. Through the, through the alcohol they were selling. Many got sick. Many families are broken. Many families got debts. Many people started becoming violent. But they were only looking at the money that they were getting. They did not know the destruction they are spreading all around with this. As you listen to me today. Do we have some kind of business that is blocking 
God's mercy to come upon us? Is there something, some kind of sin that the Lord wants us to rectify? This is true repentance. He wants us. What is repentance? If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Maybe you are giving money for interest. And you take unjust interest from poor people. It's called blade company in our language. That you take maximum interest for money that you lend. It's a wicked way. The Lord does not approve it. And when you stop this, then I will hear from heaven instantly the healing will take place. Are you ready to stop unjust business? Are you ready to stop wrong relationships? Healing will take place. The sins of the parents can also block the welfare of their children. I do remember, I heard this from a lay preacher. A, a young man came to him asking for prayers because her, his sisters, they are more than 34 years, marriage is not taking place. And his eldest do, uh, sister is 34 years, and then 32 years, and he is already at, uh, 29 years, and he also cannot get married. He has a girlfriend, because his younger sister is still not get married, so he is also worried. So the parents asked him to go and make a prayer, because they are also prayerful people, but the eldest daughters, their marriage is not taking place. There's some kind of block, blockage. So they want this block to be removed. So this lay priest, uh, preacher, he started to pray. And then he asked this boy, what's your business? Then he said he has this business of giving cable connections to different homes, different families. Then the, priest, the preacher asked, is there, a, what is, is there anything in the business that God does not approve? Do you do some kind of uh, wrong things in this business? Then this boy told that there are youngsters in the families where they need certain kinds of channels. If they give him some money, he takes some extra money and he connects certain filthy channels to their home. Even sometimes without the knowledge of their parents, he used to do this which puts impurity, immorality, filthiness into certain channels because it's his business is to connect certain Kerbal Connections channels. Sisters and brothers, he was sowing impurity into families, which breaks marriages, which, which puts people's heart impure, filthy, immoral. Sisters and brothers, he never thought Somebody can see this thing. He never thought it's a sin that can bring block. Sisters and brothers, Isaiah 59 2, we read. Isaiah 59 2. If anybody thinks your prayer is not going through, rather, your iniquities have and been bad. barriers between you and your God. God. And your sins have hidden his face from you so, so that he does not hear bad. your iniquities. We just, the pastor just, the preacher just told him, stop this business. It's better to be poor than to commit a sin. It's better to be poor than to get unjust interest. This is Proverbs chapter 19 verse 22. The scripture is clearly talking us, many do unjust business. What is desirable in a person is loyalty. And it is better to be poor than a liar. It is better to be poor than to commit a sin and make a lot of money because it's going to bring block. And the, the priest, the preacher, the lay preacher asked this young boy, maybe you came to me so that your daughters, your uh, eldest uh, sister's marriage may take place. The Lord is going to help you. You stop this business. Repent of it. Renounce this sin. And Pray for God's mercy. Ours is a forgiving God. Sisters and brothers, he, I heard from this preacher, he repented. He really repented. He cried because he never thought these types of things can block marriage. He repented. He stopped this business. 
within three months a proposal came and his elder sister's marriage was taken place we have just read that the lord's this is isaiah 59 and 1 we read the lord's hand is not too short to save us his ears are not too dull to hear the moment you renounce a sin the moment you repent new miracle will, will take place what did this prodigal son do he repented he was living with pigs sisters and brothers such a pathetic disaster he is he was so dirty nobody can accept him the way he was but he repented the moment he repented father embraced him sisters and brothers repentance has such great power repentance see the see this thief who was hanging at the right side of the cross what did he do he repented luke 24 luke 23:49 what he exactly do he repented the moment he repented he has been forgiven he has been forgiven his everything was restored uh, the moment he asked the lord to remember me when you come into your kingdom he was been forgiven it is sorry 42 24 23 42 23 42 this thief he just said then he said jesus remember me when you come into your kingdom was 41 also we will read then we will understand what he is telling this thief is telling the other thief who was just making fun of jesus this thief repented he said we have indeed have been condemned justly for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds but this man has done nothing wrong and he prayed lord 42 remember me when you come into your kingdom sisters and brothers this just small little word of repentance brought back to him everything that was lost today what is true repentance it is let's read matthew chapter 3 from 2 matthew chapter 3 from 2 this is what john the baptist started preaching repent for the kingdom of god has come near wherever mother mary appeared in mejigori in lourdes in fatima in godalope in garabandal in kibeho in velangani in komarok wherever in any part of the world one single word mother mary repeatedly repeated is repent repentance we have already seen is turning back to god he is saying no to sin categorically stopping committing sin if you are in an unjust business stop it today it is better to be poor than to be a liar it is better to be poor than to have mysterious sicknesses it is better to be poor than to have mysterious blockages there are certain areas the lord wants us to repent and the moment you repent see the prodigal son the lord restored everything repentance is such a powerful thing that can happen in our life so anything that happens that in our life he is waiting for our repentance to peter 3 9 there are people who say that whatever i pray i'm not getting a breakthrough but why there is no breakthrough he is waiting for our repentance the lord is not slow about his promise as some think of slowness but he is patient with you not wanting any to perish but all come to repentance if we look at the whole bible from old testament to the new testament from genesis to revelation the key message of the entire bible is an invitation for repentance if we repent sisters and brothers everything will be restored back to us because we should know if our eyes are always focused on the physical welfare or the material blessings god's eyes are so much focused on our soul yesterday we also had morning masses with our bishop joseph srambikal here during the mass the lord reminded as we were praying i got an inspiration deep inside me in this way do you know what's your duty as a priest the lord was asking me then the lord himself gave me an answer your duty 
is to prepare my people for a good death your duty as a priest to prepare my people for a good death are you preparing my people for a good death do you ask the people every day one question if you die today what will happen corona virus is all all around us do you just think it can affect other people it will not come to you corona has heard what you are talking it's just coming to you corona virus is getting attracted to you and there are people you simply think no it will not affect me it can affect people maybe from pakistan from somalia from uh, different parts of the world but not me if corona virus had heard such a statement it will come very fast running to you let's not think it's it can affect somebody else he's asking you are you prepared today and this is this is my duty this is our duty to prepare you for a death because one john 225 there is only one single gift the lord has promised for us this is eternal life let's repeat this word of god together this is what he has promised us eternal life this is what god has promised us eternal life this is what he has promised us eternal life if the lord is taking our life this is matthew 16:26 if he is asking our life today what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life for what will they give in return for their life i have heard a priest telling me he became unconscious in on his train journey he fell unconscious so when he became unconscious the first thing he started to shout is can i make a confession can i make a confession in the train there was no priest but he knew without confession he cannot go to heaven he is a priest but a priest need confession and are we waiting to fall unconscious to scream i need confession do it today because we cannot confess after we have died after we became unconscious it's very important that we repent and we return to the lord and we make our life straight in the presence of the lord we can also read ezekiel 34:26 what is god's approach ezekiel 34:26 ezekiel 34:26 i will make them, make them and the and region the around my hill, hill a, a blessing. blessing and i will send down the showers in their season there shall, shall be showers, showers of blessing. blessing this is what happens to those who repent he will bless not only that person all around that person anyone who repents anyone who returns to the lord they themselves become a blessing and they will become a blessing for so many others mary magdalene she was such a prostitute a notorious sinner people hated her and wanted to kill her but the moment she repented what happened she became a blessing and she became an apostle of apostles and she became such a great blessing for the whole universe sisters and brothers we may have such a broken painful sinful background but repentance makes us a new person a new creation the moment we repent everything changes our whole life changes even if our sins are red like crimson isaiah 116 we read it will become as white as snow wash yourselves make yourselves clean remove the evil of your doings from before my eyes cease to do evil we continue learn to do good seek justice rescue the oppressed defend the orphan plead for the widow was 18 come now let us argue it out says the lord though your sins are like scarlet they shall be like snow though they are red like crimson they shall become like wool sisters and brothers what is true repentance this is john the baptist said luke chapter 3 from 10 what is practical way of doing what is the practice of repentance and the crowd asked him what then should we do they repented when john the baptist was preaching and they asked what then should we do then verse 11 in reply he said to them whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none 
and whoever has food must do like us now verse 12 we read verse 12 even tax collectors came to be baptized and they asked him teacher what should we do then verse 13 he said to them collect no more than the amount prescribed for you then verse 14 soldiers also asked him and we what should we do he said to them do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation and be satisfied with your wages sisters and brothers you are in front of the lord you are listening to this homily when you ask the question lord i am a nurse what should i do god will say you have to be gentle polite with your patients you should not mistreat them you should not shout at them you should not bark at them you should not do something harmful to them you have to be alert you should not sleep during your work time you should not gossip and go on scratching on your phone using your social media watching these different type of movies in your duty time god's eyes are very sharp he will tell you the rectifications you have to do the areas you need to repent when you listen to me maybe you are a teacher god will say show, stop showing partiality maybe you have a kind of a racism you like some children you don't like some children you have you love those who perform well those who do not perform well you don't give them any special attention there are children who need your special attention and sometimes you feel partiality the lord wants you repent in this area maybe you are a taxi driver you can create some kind of manipulation to make more money you can be unjust you cannot deal with your your travelers justly ask the lord lord what is the repentance that i need to do maybe you are a housewife you are a mother but as a mother what are the areas you have to repent you just ask john the baptist clearly told them what you have to do in your profession wherever you are you are a christian you are a christian not only in the church not only when you attend the mass wherever you are you have a duty you belong to christ you need act of repentance maybe you are a soldier you have to be faithful to your duty maybe you are a shopkeeper you have to be faithful in your duty in whatever little things you have to do Joseph was a carpenter he was faithful in his duty being a carpenter Jesus helped Joseph whatever duty that you have maybe you are a driver maybe you are a cleaner remember this is Colossians chapter 3 from 23 we read Colossians 3 from 23 let's never forget what the Lord is inspiring us whatever your task put yourselves into it as done for the lord and not for your masters because your god has sharp eyes since you know that from the lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward you serve the lord christ sisters and brothers in whatever duty that you have i do remember our team members in our vincentian prayer house in nairobi we had almost 40 choir members singing in the choir but we only had a four microphones that only four people have microphones and among these four microphones only two microphones will have good voice the other microphones will be in low voice because otherwise it will clash and almost the all the other youngsters they have to stand like statues they have to open their mouth and they have to sing without microphone only if they sing loud their sound will catch the microphone but they persevered they endured they sang and eventually when we started more centers all these youngsters were being taken to different centers some of them got scholarships some got married some got visas some got employed every one of them were blessed because we read 23 and 24 whatever your task maybe your task is just to stand like a statue but if you stand your god's eyes are sharp there will be a time you will be lifted hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 we read we do not have a god who is unjust god is not unjust he will not overlook your work and the love that you showed for his sake in serving the saints as you still do he is a faithful god he is a rewarder he will reward you 
people serve people in vain in pain in humiliation but no human being have ever served god in vain god is a rewarder he will repay sevenfold this is what the scripture says sirach 3513 that god will repay sevenfold today as we are going through this repentance sisters and brothers repent this is ask the lord lord what you do you expect from me to do in my workplace in my family maybe as a dad as a mom as a student as a child what do you expect from me what is the change that you expect from me even as a priest i need to repent there are areas i need to repent every kind of empty promise that i give every kind of lie that i speak every kind of pretense or hypocrisy that i have i have to stop there are every day we are increasing our sins but actually we need to decrease the number of sins we are committing and we need to stop many sins and he is going to intervene let's kindly stand we sing the hymn of offertory asking the lord to give us a new heart a heart of repentance a heart that is humble my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church look upon the offerings of the church our lord as she makes a prayer to you and grant that when consumed by those who believe they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let's give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our lord through whom the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim
Holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John Wilson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Kindly we stand at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin, of all the world, and mercy on Oh, uh -huh. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Let's keep our hands on our heart and keep on praising and thanking the Lord for coming into us spiritually. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus, eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him says the Lord let us pray having consumed these gifts we pray O Lord that by our participation in this mystery its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen the mass is ended. Let's go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We pray together the prayer for priests. Let's look onto the screen. O, o Jesus, Jesus, eternal, eternal priest, keep, keep your, your priests within, within the, the shelter, shelter of your heart, heart where, where none may harm them. them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily hold your sacred body. Keep holy their lips, moistened with your precious blood. Keep holy and unearthly their hearts, Sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world. Their labors for the glory of God may be blessed with abundant fruits. And may the one whom they serve be the source of joy to them. Here on earth and in heaven, the eternal crown. Let them be eager to be with you, to proclaim your good news and to fight against the evil one. Lord, Lord, give your church, church holy priests, religious and lay leaders. Jesus, Redeemer of the world. Keep pure your priests and those whom they serve. Holy Mary, Queen of Priests. Pray for your priests. Saint Alphonsa. Pray for the religious. Saint Augustine of England. Pray for England. Holy family. Keep our families pure and holy. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend, defend us in the day of battle. battle. Be, Be our safeguard against, against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. devil. 
May, May God rebuke me, humbly pray, and, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, may humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of the battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, may humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the reign of souls. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. We pray Psalm 91 for protection. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eye and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With a long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Sisters and brothers, we are just going to say the same way the prodigal son said. I'm sorry. I don't deserve to be called your son. Sisters and brothers, true repentance leads us to our unworthiness that we don't deserve anything. We have all sinned. And you are going to say, Lord, it's your mercy that can restore my life. It's your mercy that can rebuild my life. If possible, kneel down wherever you are and plead unto the Lord, here am a sinner. I'm kneeling before you. I'm pleading for your mercy. I rely totally on your mercy, O oh Lord. Here I am, a sinner, broken and in need of you. Take my life and wash my feet away. For you are the great I am, rest assured I feel you.
Here I am, a sinner, broken and in need of you. Take my life and wash my fears away. For you are the great I am. Rest assured, I feel your hand holding me until the darkness clears. A father to the fatherless. Redeemer of my soul, my life is yours forever. I want the world to know. presence of the Lord somebody you lost your father and you are still sorrowful why you lost your dad the Lord is telling your dad is with me and I am your living dad today please hold on to God release your dad to the Lord God is blessing Joel God is blessing a single mother named Joyce the Lord is telling, I know you, I protect you, I provide for you. You are a father to the fatherless. I'm a fatherless person. There is no one who can care for me. My own father abandoned me and left me alone. I need you. Redeemer of my soul. Early Gia sister is consoled by the Lord. Somebody who failed in the exam, the Lord is consoling you. The Lord is asking many formatters to set example. The Lord is delivering many from guilty feeling, especially from the sin of abortion and many other sins. The Lord is telling, I forgive the repentant sinners. Jesus is pleading for you. Somebody you got married without the permission or blessing of your parents and now you are struggling so much in your marriage. You don't know how to rectify that mistake. The Lord is asking you, don't worry, I have paid the price for your sin. Put yourself under the mercy of the Lord. Repeatedly pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet for the sake of the sorrowful passion of Jesus. Abba Father have mercy on me and on the whole world. And he's going to deliver you from the guilt of disobeying your parents. God is blessing us, a Christian. You are so committed and God is blessing you. Even giving a financial breakthrough. The Lord is asking many to stop misusing the social media. The Lord is asking you to give more importance to your children and wife than your job and money. Swearing is a sin. Swearing is a sin. Repent. The Lord is asking you. Many who stop paying the tithe. The Lord wants you to do this according to Prophet Malachi chapter 3. Stop making fun of others. The Lord is inspiring. Your mother is not a slave or a walker that you mistreat her. Send her back to Goa. Pay her flight charges. Your grandmother is not a slave to walk day and night for you. Respect them. God is healing someone who has sinus serious problem. God is healing many with a pain in the bones. Somebody you built your house halfway. 
God is going to help you to complete it. Geraldine, God is blessing you. Matthew, God is blessing you. Stop criticizing pastors or priests. Leave them their way. God is their judge, not you. Stop beating children. Why are you so hard on your children? God is blessing Biju, Raphael. God is blessing you, Olive. Olive. The Lord is wiping your tears. Sakaria, God is blessing you. Magdalene, the Lord is blessing you. Ria, God is blessing you. The Lord is asking a priest, don't give up your priesthood, hold on, hold on. This momentary struggle will pass away. The Lord is asking many to stop watching evil things on the internet. There are filthy things that is creating so much headache to you. Stop this. People hate you when you do good. Psalm 38, 19 and 20. But don't stop doing good. Stop repeated sins. Help those who are affected by coronavirus in your neighborhood. Don't you know you can also get this sickness? Help those who are sick. Give them food. Be kind to them. There are many who mistreat or keep distance to COVID-19 patients as see if it will never affect you be humble, help them the Lord is delivering many from the spirit of alcoholism destroy it, the Lord wants you to destroy alcohol cigarettes, drugs that you are kept immediately tonight before you sleep, burn it sisters and brothers the Lord is asking many parents, don't you know your fight, your separation is killing your children, affecting their studies, their performance. Lord Jesus, touch your people. Your priest, I pray for deliverance, for protection. Let them be delivered from evil affliction, O oh Lord. Wash them in your blood. Recreate them, O oh Lord. Be a father to your children. Be a mother to your children. Stand beside them and console them. Oh, Abba, Father, help them. Let's look at the Blessed Sacrament. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We adore you, Lord. Let's look at the Lord. When I look into your holiness, let his holiness transform you. Let his love recreate your heart. The Lord is consoling many of you. Many with eye-related problem, he is healing you. Many with chest congestion, breathing problem. Veronica with knee pain, God is healing you. Kelly, God is healing you. Sarah, God is blessing you. When I found the joy of reaching your Somebody with the left hand, elbow pain, God is healing you. Somebody with the severe toothache, God is healing you. Someone with a migraine, taking a lot of medicine and sleepless, God is healing you. Jaws, God is touching you, healing you. Timothy, God is blessing you. God is blessing you. Kari, God is blessing you. Kohinoor, God is blessing you. Noor, God is blessing you. You. Joshua, God is healing you from allergy, 
any skin problem god is also calling you to be a priest joshua joshua is to worship you o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine for as the holy rosary for tomorrow as father joseph has mentioned also please take fasting which is a great and a profound means of experiencing god please be reminded of the family renewal retreat the next this month the last weekend also next to month the deliverance retreat for which you are preparing with fasting and helping others just if you have not yet received our newsletter you will be sent it just send your email to divinekent@gmail.com please continue to pray for us may almighty god give you a good sleep bless the dinner bless everyone related to you even those who already started sleeping in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. somebody you have severe throat problem god is also healing you from this somebody you are sleepless you get night dreams he is delivering you good night